Hey everyone, this is a gizmo video I'm making for you um, of the circulatory system, which is uh, how the blood gets pumped through our body, um, and the main organ being our heart. So right now on the screen, you can see the heart is pumping, and that is the same thing as your heart beating. So every time your heart beats, it pumps blood through your body. So when I click show blood flow, you're going to see those little dots kind of move into the heart and back to the body. Um, and that is representing the flow of the blood. All right, you've got red and white blood cells flowing through that system. This is just a model of what that looks like. So when I show the label, it gets a little crowded, but you can see there's the heart. It's broken up into four chambers, the atriums and the ventricles. One side of the heart is where the blood comes in fully oxygenated from the lungs. And the other part of the heart is where deoxygenated blood goes into um, the lungs to pick up more oxygen and then back and through the heart. So what you're seeing right now, where is the blood is going from the lungs into the heart, pumps to every organ, every little spot in your body. It drops off the oxygen and then it goes back into the heart, back to the lungs to pick up more oxygen as you breathe. So your breathing and your heart beating systems are completely connected. They work together all the time. So let's remove those labels just to keep it a little less crowded. So when I move the syringe, sorry if that's gross for anybody, and I put it on one of the reds, anything that is red, we are going to see that there is high oxygen levels, 94.9, carbon dioxide is pretty low, 39, and then there's also quantities of blood sugar and urea, which is what um, when you learn about the urinary system is that toxin that you're eventually going to get filtered out through your kidneys. Um, so what I really want to focus on here is the oxygen versus carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a waste we want to get rid of. Oxygen is what our body needs and it wants to bring it to every cell in the body. So if I now move the syringe to something blue, we will see those numbers change dramatically, going from a 90 something to 36 on oxygen. So there's less oxygen in that blood. Um, which doesn't make it blue, but it does change the color. Blood with red uh, that is really, really bright red has more oxygen, and then that other blood that's deoxygenated is not blue, but it is more of a dark red purplish shade. That's where that kind of idea comes from. And then that carbon dioxide also rises over 10 um, times, or a little bit bigger than that. So inside the blood, this microscopic view of the blood, you've got white blood cells and tons and tons of red blood cells. You have more red blood cells, um, but those white blood cells, like you learned um, about, are key to your immune system and keeping you healthy. That is the circulatory system.